Hi, my name is Scott Skurians. I work for the Lincoln Electric Company, and I've done many Sport Air Workshop TIG training programs. But today I'd like to talk to you about torches, collets, collet bodies, and tungstens, and some filler rod. Um, I've got a couple different torches here. Uh, I've actually got a uh, 17 torch and a 9 torch. This is a standard torch that comes with the uh, Precision TIG 225. Um, you have some standard parts. You have the collet, the collet body, and of course you have the ceramic. You have many different shapes and sizes of the ceramics. Um, this happens to be the standard one that comes with the, with the actual 17 torch. Um, we also have a gas lens set up here. The gas lens is a filter or a screen. It's kind of like the screen in your um, faucet in your, in your kitchen. If you've ever taken that screen out and turned the water on, the water kind of plops out of there until you put that screen back in. It kind of diffuses the water. Well, this does the same thing with the gas. Okay, and this is a good setup to use if you're, again, in a cluster type area or a tight situation, or you gotta go down inside of a, a hole or a box. This helps diffuse the gas. You can actually stick the tungsten out about an uh, inch using a gas lens. If you use a standard setup, it's only about two to three times the diameter. So if you had to get into a, a tight situation, you could stick the tungsten out about an inch and make your TIG well and you're ready to go. So again, I have the 17 torch parts and, and the um, nine torch parts. Again, gas lens versus non-gas lens. You have a collet, of course, the gas lens, and then your ceramic. You've got the collet again here, the collet body, and then your ceramic. So basically three, three parts that go into the torch. Um, also, I'd like to talk a little bit about tungstens. We have some, a couple different tungstens here. We have a, a green tungsten, which is designed for AC polarity. So if you're doing any aluminum on a transformer-based machine like the Precision TIG 225, the green tungsten is perfect for that. We also have the red tungsten. Again, red's designed for everything else. AC is designed for aluminum and magnesium with the green. Everything else is done with the red. Stainless steel, chromoly tubing, inconel, titanium. You know, virtually the list is endless. So you've got a couple different tungsten uh, choices here. They also come in different uh, thicknesses from 40 thousandths up to 530 seconds. And they all carry different uh, amperages. So um, you've got to choose the tungsten size based on the amperage that you're, that you're actually welding. I also want to talk a little bit about filler metal. Um, we recommend on 4130 chromoly tubing that you use ERADS-D2. That's the filler metal choice for 4130. Now, if you walk in your local distributor, chances are he won't have that on the shelf. Okay, so you have two other options. The other two options are ER70S-2 and ER70S-6. So those are the three filler metals that you should be using for your 4130 tubing. Have fun welding. See you later.